Hey fellow expeditionists, we're on a 10,000 islands boat tour in the Everglades National Park. We found ourselves in South Florida on another road trip, but this one will be different from our usual adventures. We were in the Sea of Grass, hundreds of thousands of acres of wetlands and swamps in the Big Cypress and Everglades area. We're best known for our hiking adventures, but hiking would be taking a back seat this time around as we were here more for the scenery and the wildlife. On the west side of Everglades National Park is an area leading out to the Gulf of Mexico known as the 10,000 Islands a chain of small islands and mangrove islets. I had looked into booking some of the private tours here, ones that would last a half a day or more, and included kayaking and beachcombing. But the prices for such tours were more than I was looking to spend. So we chose the tour that is actually put on by the official Everglades National Park concessionaire, Everglades Florida Adventures. It's typically a 90 minute tour on a 45 foot catamaran that ventures across Chocolosky Bay Indian Key Pass, and through the mangrove islands of Everglades National Park. So what are you kind of hoping to see on this little boat ride, Catfish? Maybe some cool islands, some cool birds, whatever else is in the Everglades. Yep, the 10,000 islands is like just a ton of small barrier islands all along the south tip of Florida. My expectation on this adventure was to simply see the beautiful scenery and hopefully a lot of variety of birds. And boy, did we get the birds. There was cormorants, ibises, brown pelicans, white pelicans, multiple kinds of herons, kingfishers, roseate spoonbills, egrets, ospreys, and hingas, and more. While we certainly got the birds, what I hadn't even considered were dolphins. Now in years past, we've done a couple dolphin cruises, usually with no luck. But we have seen plenty of dolphins from the shore and even from our kayaks. However, nothing prepared us quite for the dolphin show we were about to experience. We had booked the earliest tour of the day, and apparently it was right when several dolphin pods were out fishing for breakfast. As our boat cruised through their territory, they all came together, following our boat and jumping the waves. Our tour guide told us it was ultimately the most dolphins he had ever pulled behind his boat, with more than a dozen following behind us. 
As a result, we stayed out in the water an additional 15 minutes longer than our tour was supposed to last. We definitely got our money's worth. It's its tail. So that was our 90 minute tour here of the 10,000 islands at Everglades National Park. Catfish, got any thoughts about it? That was awesome. Oh, one and a half hour tour turned into like a one hour 45 minute tour just because they couldn't leave the dolphins that we were seeing. Yeah, the tour guide actually said that that's probably as many dolphins as he'll have in a whole week that we've seen in that one hour and 45 minute tour there. In fact, he said we probably doubled the record for the amount of dolphins he had uh, riding the wake behind the boat. So that was really epic, wasn't it? Yeah. Especially since I didn't even go out there expecting to see dolphins. I was just expecting to see the cool islands and a lot of birds. That's really what my expectation was, huh? Same here. Yep. We did get a lot of birds since the islands are really neat. But wow, that dolphin experience was pretty awesome. You know what? We're ready to go on to our next adventure. Until next time. Peace out. If this looks like something you would like to experience, I'll post a link to the tour company below. The tour starts from the Gulf Coast Visitor Center in Everglades City. It costs $40 per person with reservations taken online.